Well, I did a Google search on changing a C5 corner lens, and I didn't find anything that uh, helped at all, so I thought I'd do one. And this lens right here is cracked right there. It was that way when I bought the car, so I found another one on eBay. Right there, it's in good shape, so I'm uh, getting ready to do that, so I thought I'd do a video. And uh, one thing I did is I rolled the car up onto some blocks. It gets it an inch and a half off the ground, and I've got a uh, jack set up here that's gonna fit underneath the front cross member, so we'll get the car raised. I like this method of jacking up a Corvette. I actually found it by doing a search on Corvette forum for ways to jack up a car, and it involves a, a good uh, floor jack and a piece of a two by six, and I made some stop blocks on each end so that I know where to accurately position, position it each time. And then once it's up, we'll slide a jack stand underneath each so end. The car's up on jack stands now. It's safe to get underneath there. And uh, what we're going to be doing is going to an access panel that's right uh, below the car. And we'll take this lens out. And one of the first things we've got to do, I think, is take this piece off. So we're underneath the car now, and that looks pretty simple. Just a few screws to take that off. And then we're going to take this uh, access panel off as well. As it turns out, I didn't have to take this piece off. I just had to take one screw out right there that's common with that panel, and then the, 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 that piece can stay there. So the next task, I think, is getting this brake cooling duct out of the way. And you can see that there's a little tab right there and a little hole right there, so it seems like I need to rotate this a little bit and get it out of the way. So I'll put down the camera and do that next. So as it turns out, you don't really need to remove the uh, brake cooling duct. It's in there and it's just pushed out of the way. And once you're underneath the car, you need a 7 millimeter socket to remove a screw that's right on this corner. And you do that from underneath. And then you need a 10 millimeter socket to remove a screw that's up in this area right in here. And then up on top of that is a little retaining spring. I don't know if you can see it right there or not. Uh, and you disconnect that retaining spring and then the lens will come out of the car and looking at that on the workbench uh, this is the bottom side of the lens and so there's the 7 millimeter screw in that end and the 10 millimeter screw in this end and uh, to help you get your orientation a little bit here so again you can take this one out from underneath and uh, this one here you can actually take the socket wrench and stick it through the duct and get to it from the uh, brake cooling duct once the uh, duct is actually pushed out of the way. So once it's up on the bench then it's relatively simple. You just have to take this black retainer off of the bad lens and put it on the good one. One thing that may help you that I learned the hard way is on the reassembly the uh, 10 millimeter screw shares location with this uh, trim piece and you can see it moving around here and that's the place where the uh, screw would go so what I'm going to do is pull this into position and put a piece of duct tape right here that will hold it into position for me. So I reached through the, the uh, brake cooling duct and pulled this piece into position and then stuck a little piece of duct tape and that brings everything into alignment so uh, Two of the three holes are there, and now I've just got to feed the screw up. So here's this 10 millimeter screw. And one thing I learned uh, about building airplanes, you got to get some things into some really tight places sometimes, and about the time you get there, the screw will fall out of the socket, so I'll take a little piece of tape and run it around the rim of the socket and the edge of that 10 millimeter screw and it'll hold everything together for you so it won't fall out. <laughs> 